today's mod is. Introducing Flight Plan and Maneuver Node Controller by Scalos Rat and XYZ30 to 11. Do you have large aspirations for exploration and adventure, but never know what direction is the right direction? Or worse yet, you know which way to go, but you find it hard to make small adjustments or just have poor hand-mouse coordination? Well, here is the mods for you. Watch this video and find out more on these great mods. So first things first, we need to launch a rocket. And during launch is when we'll get our first use of flight plan. Step one is burn until you have an apogee that you're happy with. Now instead of being rushed and trying to get your maneuver node placed and everything perfect before you pass your apogee, instead we're going to use flight plan to help us out. Now there are many functions in flight plan and we're going to go over most of them, but first we're going to use the circularize at apoapsis. So with two quick clicks on circularize and make node, we are now circularized with no rush and no fuss. In this case, we had three minutes to plan, but sometimes you might not have that one. And now all that is left is to complete our burn. This is my lazy orbit. Note not to be confused with the lazy orbit mod, which is devaluated and is now just the Alt F8 cheat menu. And there we go. Getting into orbit and getting circularized has been made just a little bit simpler. And now on to the Apogee and Perigee tools. These can be a little tricky your first time, but they are simple. Just make sure that if you want to alter your Perigee, that your burn option is set to Apogee. And also to alter your Apogee, you need to set it to Perigee. And with your function selected and your altitude set, just click the Make Node. Really handy when you got to get to that specific altitude. And the exact same for Perigee, just make sure that you set your burn option to Apogee. And in the same manner, you can take the guesswork out of setting your inclination angle. We can also plan some resonant orbits. Don't quote me on this, this is my first time using this part, and I have only tested this once. Let's say you want to place three satellites evenly spaced into an orbit of mm, 333 kilometers. We are going to set our target altitude to our altitude we want to go to, in this case 333. And then we are just going to set our deployment orbits and payloads to say how many satellites and how many orbits in between each deployment. With fix AP and make node, this will set up your first maneuver. At first, it may be a little odd that for a 333 kilometer orbit, it's sending us up to 727, but that's all part of resonance. Once your burn is completed, you will now get a fix PE. This will set our periaps to our 333 kilometer target. Now, I am not actually deploying satellites, but I'm going to use some maneuver nodes and explain kind of what's happening. So your mother craft stays on the blue orbit. Then on every deploy orbit, when you reach your apogee, release one satellite and execute the fix PE maneuver node. Then once you reach your perigee, create and execute a circularization maneuver. And then just wash, rinse, and repeat on every deploy orbit until you've deployed all of your satellites. Resonance. Moving on to the moon. Moon and minimus intercepts could not be easier. All you need to do is set the top toggle from vessel to celestial if it's not already. Yes, you can rendezvous with this function if you have a craft within your SOI that you can intercept with. Our moon one is in the moon's SOI, so we have to get there first. So we will pick moon, and now we get a new UI button in the top middle. Here we will find all of our tools for intercepts. With the MUN not being inclined, we only need to select the home and transfer and make note. Best thing is it's a direct hit, so this allows you to keep space clean. Also, if you want a polar orbit, it's much cheaper. Interplanetary is about the same, but it needs a little bit more work. With KSP2 being new, and the mods are obviously new, some stuff is experimental. But in any case, it gets us close and works as a really good starting point. So now we can make manual course corrections and get it as close as we can. But we all know the maneuver node is not the best for precision work. So here's where we enter in with our second mod, the maneuver node controller. And our first use is going to be getting rid of that second maneuver node. This tool allows you to delete a specific maneuver node without losing all of your maneuver nodes and your flight plan. 
This also saves you from having to find and select your maneuver node. You can just use the left right arrows at the top to select the maneuver node that you want to edit. There are lots of buttons and fields, but the tool is actually pretty simple. Now the first two fields are your delta V amount fields. These come in a small and a large step value. Beside those is a multiply and divide by 10 to increase or decrease the amount of your step. You can also just type right into the field and enter your values that way. So it's really nice having the dual use option. Our next fields are the main ones. They're pretty self-explanatory for each direction, prograde, normal, and radial. There is a plus side and a minus side, each with the small and large adjust buttons or single and double arrows. Below those are tool sets that allow us to set the position and timing of our maneuver node. First, there is some snap tools that allow you to snap your maneuver node directly to a cardinal point in your orbit. After that is your small and large time step values. These are denoted in seconds and the exact same divide and multiply by 10. Right below that is the buttons that actually affect the time placement of your maneuver node. So there's the single and double or small and large time steps. Followed right after that with the orbital period plus and minus. We had this in KSP1, but it is not there at the moment, and this is the only tool that I know of that we can add or remove orbits from in KSP2. Maneuver Node Controller is perfect for making very precise adjustments to your orbit, and with you not having to keep your maneuver node selected and using the handles, it allows for you to make adjustments to your maneuver while your maneuver node is not even in view. This mod pairs directly with Flight Plan. Inside Flight Plan, if you have both mods installed, you will have a button to launch the Maneuver Node controller. With our course plotted, we are going to make one more fine-tune adjustment to our course. I want to impact Moho. We could land on it, yes, but I want to ring that bell, as you should click the like and subscribe and ring your notification bell. With not requiring to have the maneuver node handles be visible, I can rotate the camera now to get that perfect orientation to see what I'm doing. How many times have you added radial or normal into your burn maneuver node and wanted to remove it and found that the easiest way to remove it was to delete the maneuver node? With this window, you can just zero it out. Now, I believe these are the two mods that I use the most often out of all of the mods. And I'm a little bit surprised that these weren't built right into KSP2. I was hoping for these to be integrated into the burn window, but that's another discussion for another day. A cautionary tale from the editing room. Always, always double check your maneuver node when you are using flight plan or the maneuver node controller. Okay. Neither of them really care if they're going to send you through the atmosphere or not. And sometimes they may be positioned at not the best position for the burn that you're trying to do. And if you don't pay attention and double check and just trust your autopilot, you might have a bad day. In this outtake, I was not paying any attention to the plotted direction and I only noticed something was wrong when I heard a burning sound after I turned my engine off. Turns out it was me burning.